Physics Toolbox Accelerometer takes advantage of the internal force meter inside of your mobile device. And because of that, when it opens up the first time, it shows a graph of g-force versus time. You'll notice a couple of things. First of all, there's a blue line up near the top um, reading about a g-force of 1 in the z direction. And you'll notice two other lines um, near the bottom, near g-force of 0. That's the side to side and forward to backward dimensions. Gravity, as you know, pulls down towards the center of the Earth, which in this case is along the z-axis. If I take my mobile device and I decide to shake it in one dimension, primarily, you'll see it shakes in all dimensions, really. It's hard to do it in a single dimension. But you can help um, students or children learn exactly what those three dimensions are and how the motion or the change in motion in those dimensions occurs. So this is one thing you can do. You can pause it if you need to. You can reset it and clean up the data if you need to. However, if you're interested in actually looking at acceleration, linear acceleration, you can simply click that option and it will start to show you the data um, in meters per second per second or meters per second squared versus time. And the data looks fairly messy um, until you start to shake it and you realize that still really is not still. It's hard to get something that's truly at rest. And so the data that we're seeing is sort of background data, which is a little bit of noise, which is typical and to be expected whenever you are dealing with real world scenarios. Um, of course, to record the data, simply press the plus icon and there are plenty of different things to take a look at in the settings.